Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com and Andre Dooley Newland, the ferret, who is in the background. He's, uh, I've just washed his bag. So he's got this brown and green bag, which is one of his favorite places to sleep. And I also take him out in it as well. Uh, so if I go into the garage, I put him in there so that, because they don't like me taking him in without putting him in a bag first. So I put him in a bag and he loves it in there. The thing is, I've just washed it and he doesn't like it when I do that because then his smell's gone. It's all clean. He doesn't like clean things. So, uh, He's probably a bit annoyed with me at the moment. So there you go. So the point of this thing here that I'm doing is called Let Me Bore You to Sleep, where I just talk about, <coughs> about me coughing. I talk about nothing really for a period of time. And that is it. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to take my glasses off. That's it. And only watch or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I say watch or listen just in case it's a video, but... Um, decided to make a few changes because at the moment this is the 3rd of September 2018 so far I think I've made about 800 plus recordings since 2006 and uh, I've decided to start making available sessions to buy to download online from my website jasonnewland.com so i'm going to be using a shopify which is a an online platform to sell you can kind of sell anything but it's good for selling digital products which is what i'll be doing so trying to figure out how to do it, how to, you know, what to do for free, what to do to sell. So I can't sell anything that I'm offering for free because, you know, for example, if I put something online, a video, and then put a link for people to download the audio, you don't need to download it. You, you know, you can just download it online for free. It's quite easy to do that. So I also want to keep doing the free stuff as well. Therefore, I've come up with a crafty plan. I've come up with an idea. And the idea is this. And this is an example for the Let Me Bore You To Sleep sessions, which I'm going to continue to do. So please don't fall asleep just yet. I'm going to bore you with this information first. And I'll be mentioning this briefly at the beginning of all my sessions. And just so you know what the situation is. So I'm thinking of doing maybe five let me bore you to sleep sessions a week, Monday to Friday. And one of those will be free. So maybe make uh, do one on a Wednesday, which will be free. I'll upload it to SoundCloud, upload it to Spreaker, and it'll be uploaded to all the different podcasts that I've got. And you know, I'll convert it into a video so it's on YouTube. So that will be every Wednesday, and that will be free. But the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday 
sessions will be available to download on my website and they won't be available anywhere else and they will be able to download for a small fee I don't know how much yet a uh, dollar two dollars three dollars I'm not sure I haven't decided that part yet because I have to pay a certain amount a percentage to the, the website host because they do the transactions so I have to pay them plus it's costing me money per month for the web for the actual website and time and you know all the different things so I just need to sort of work out what would be a a good you know a good way to do it and it won't only be the let me bore you to sleep sessions I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing pain release sessions relaxation sessions whisper ASMR sessions um, individual sessions for specific issues so I'm going to really start doing a lot more uh, starting to look at this as a career now but at the same time still offer the free stuff so uh, for example if I do maybe three relaxation sessions a week I'll make sure one of those is free you know upload it to YouTube Spreaker and all those places SoundCloud iTunes and that the other two sessions will be available on my website to download as mp3s so that's kind of the plan that's the plan in my head and on top of that I will be looking to record some courses as well uh, maybe some courses for driving lesson nerves exam nerves uh, various different things so that's that's kind of what I've started to do today so this is not going to be available to download on my website this is going to be free and oh, wait a minute or should it be free no this this will be available to download and tomorrow's session will be available to download and then on Wednesday there'll be a free one yeah that's what I'm going to do and the reason for that is because by Wednesday I would have uh, got the website to how I want it to be and made it so that the jasonnewland.com URL is pointed towards that site which I haven't done yet and then over time if I can make maybe 10 audios a week available to download on my website and then make maybe two or three free ones available on the podcasts YouTube etc then that will give uh, still continue the free service in fact you know more than just continue it's three free sessions a week that's 150 free sessions a year and then 10 sessions so like 500 or whatever that will be available to download for I don't know how much to charge I need to kind of figure that out myself yeah, for me I'd rather have a larger audience you know to help as many people as possible um, but we'll see this for me now this is going to be I've decided this is going to be my career for now for you know the rest of my life this is I'm going to turn this into a business and make it affordable but at the same time still do the free sessions so it's kind of the best of both worlds really so those of you that want to 
that like what I do can, you know, you can download some of the other stuff, the new stuff, but it's not available anywhere else. It's never going to be free, never going to be on YouTube, never going to be on any podcasts. It's only available to download on my website. So I'm quite pleased about that, actually. It feels quite right. So I've had to, this is going to be the boring part, so it's continued to be boring, so this whole boring session is going to be me talking about <laughs> this, um, setting up the website and stuff. Yeah, why not? Now actually that's not fair, because then if I'm charging for this, maybe I should make this, no, I perhaps should have this as free. That makes, for, yeah, I'm on that, this is going to be a free session. So maybe every Monday will be a free one. Because <laughs> although it doesn't really matter what I talk about with the boring stuff, because it's just all boring and you close your eyes and you can just find yourself drifting off to the just constant monotonous chatter of my voice. But at the same time, I can't know if I'm feeling like I'm doing some kind of really, really extra boring sales pitch. But I'm not at all. I'm just telling you about what's going on. And there'll never be any sales pitch for me. It's about if people want to, they want to download, if you want to download my stuff, then do it. You know, I'm, I'm grateful, but you know, it's just do what you want to do. I'm not here for any reason other than to help. And including help is also helping myself. So I want to help you and myself instead of just helping other people, which is what I've focused on. And, and I haven't done much to help myself. And I kind of justified that, thinking that, you know, I was being altruistic. But being altruistic is fine, but uh, I still feel that helping people is, it's not about a word, it's not about a label, it's just helping people is helping people, whether someone pays two dollars for the session or whether it's for free or they pay a hundred dollars if the result is beneficial to the person then it's helped them you know I I'm trying to think as an example of that but say if you're constipated and you go and buy some prune juice and it costs ten dollars or five dollars or ten dollars or whatever let's say five dollars for some prune juice and as you're sitting on the toilet maybe 20 minutes after drinking the prune juice and you have that relief from that constipation i imagine there's not one part of you thinking can't believe i just wasted five dollars on that Because it's helped you. Therefore, it, money's not really, doesn't really come into it. If you had to pay $600 for that prune juice, you got the relief. But then afterwards, it might, you know, I suppose you could feel a bit resentful to having had to have paid six hundred dollars you know for that uh, relief but you're still going to be grateful for the relief but i guess depending on how much you pay how much you have in the bank to start with could maybe affect your emotional gratitude level perhaps And you know, for years and years and years, people have been telling me, say, oh, 
Well, first of all, the thing that people ask me, and they've been asking this since 2006, or well, 2004 actually, because that's when I started uh, trying to promote my free pain relief service. Um, but it wasn't until 2006 that I actually you know, started to become sort of successful. But the people have been asking me, oh, why is it free? Why is it free? JJ, why is it free? I've been asked that question so many times. And it's like, well, it's a free service. That's why it's free. I think for me, it seems obvious. I, I want to help people and I don't want to charge them. I still don't want to charge anyone. I don't want to, I don't, I'm not interested in charging people for stuff, which is why I'm still going to continue to do the free sessions as well as making, um, I was going to say professional recordings, but recordings that you can download and hopefully will sound quite good. So I've worked on the sound quality of my sessions lately and they are a better quality sound. But even though, you know, there's still be background sounds though. I'm not sitting in a professional recording studio paying 40, 50, 60 dollars an hour to record stuff because then I'd have to charge at least maybe 12 dollars each session to get my money back so people say oh why is it free? Why is it free? Some, someone once told me, not the only person that said it to me, but he said, oh, you know, people don't appreciate things if they get it for free. And I, I really, I've never agreed with that. I, I realize that there are some people that won't appreciate something when they get it for free but there's some people that don't appreciate things when they pay for it and maybe some people just just don't like it they don't you know it's not a case they don't appreciate it maybe they just it's not something they like which is fine we, we've all got our own likes and dislikes about specific things But the idea that other people, you know, they don't appreciate something because they haven't paid loads of money for it. I mean, you think about it, if you, someone who buys their very first car, and I'm guessing a, a lot of people don't have the financial resources to buy a brand new car first time round. They might be 17, 18 years old and they may spend a few hundred dollars, a few hundred pounds, dollars, wherever you live in, wherever the currency is, where you are. And the car might be a big rust heap, but it starts, the engine starts and it works just about. And that car has probably never been loved as much as it is right now by that 18, 17, 18 year old. That car is appreciated. That car is loved. And that car costs very little, a very, very small amount of money. It's basically free really, in a sense. The idea that they would appreciate a car that was worth $50,000 more than they appreciate that car worth $300. 
They might do. They probably like it better because they've got a nice brand new car and they can show it off. But that love for that first car is powerful. And that is appreciation. So I don't think that people need to spend lots of money to appreciate what they have. I've got a television that was cheap. I appreciate it. It was a gift, so I, I like that. And it wasn't expensive. I think I bought it with a gift voucher that someone gave me, an Amazon gift voucher. And I bought it, it's a 30, I think it's a 36 inch. So it's not like huge, but it's not little either. Was it 32 inch, 36, something like that. But it does me fine. Perfect for me. So yeah, it was free. Someone gave it to me. Did I appreciate it? Yeah, I did. The black chair, big black recliner chair I'm sitting in. Again, that was a gift. Do I, I appreciate it? Yeah. It's cool to have a chair to sit in. Would I appreciate it more if I paid for it out of my own money? No, I don't think so. So yeah, I don't, can't really see the logic there. I think some sales techniques, I've looked into marketing a bit, and some of them seem to think that the more you charge, the more you'll sell. But in a way, I probably don't really agree that that's the, well, I might be wrong, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think if I charge £25 or $25 for an audio download MP3 instead of $2, I don't think I'm going to sell more of them. I suppose potentially I could sell less and make more money, of course. But then I haven't accomplished what I'm looking to do, and that's to reach a larger audience. You know, if I've got, if I sell my sessions at ten dollars each, instead of a dollar, so ten dollars, I've got. If I sell a hundred, that's a thousand dollars. So a hundred a week, thousand dollars a week. I sell them at one dollar, I have to sell a thousand to get that thousand dollars. And some may think, well, go for the ten dollars then, because you haven't got to sell as many. But I'd rather reach the thousand people. For me, reaching that thousand people instead of a hundred people it's much more worthwhile. But that's just me. What can I say? Perhaps if I sell them for a hundred dollars each, so I've only got to sell ten, ten a week. 
That would be quite good. So as you probably guessed, I really don't know where I'm going with this. I don't, I haven't got it all figured out in my head. But I've got a, a rough map. So that I think the most important things that I need to remember is one, that all the recordings or any of the recordings available to download on my website must not be available anywhere else. Not available on YouTube and just available only on my website. suppose the other thing is to stick to the plan so if I say I'm gonna make five let me bore you to sleep recordings a week and on a Wednesday record a free one and you know let that be available free and the other four days have them available to download on the website for a, a fee a charge then I need to stick to that And once I start selling, I need to make sure that I don't put those sessions that are for sale available free, like I've done in the past, because that's not fair on people that have spent money on them. So this could be the turning point for me moving in we're still moving in the same direction but instead of just one path there's two paths there's still the free path a path where the sessions are free will always be free and I'll continue to make free sessions then there's the path where the sessions are available to download on my website for a certain amount of money and as those paths get bigger get bigger become bigger the path of three you know the three sessions is pretty big now with over 800 sessions there and at the moment the path with the the website where there's well it's pretty much empty at the moment it's just kind of a line it's just a line there or maybe two lines with a little gap not much going on But it'll continue and it'll grow and it'll grow and it'll grow some more to the point where there's hundreds of sessions available to download and the website will start to I guess catch up with the free sessions as in the quantity so that, that would be an interesting path to travel you know be for me it'd be an interesting thing to follow and to observe and also it would be a challenge to stop myself getting in my own way you 
because I've you know I've looked at doing similar things in the past and I put work into them into the project and lots of work sometimes and then I back out and don't you know decide just keep it all free everything free all the time and I just undo the work that I've done and it's a shame really because you know we live in a, a society in a world where we, we all need to have money to get by to eat to pay the rent to pay the bills and I'm not an exception to that I don't have any any savings I don't have any real income and every month is a financial a little bit of a struggle really sometimes like many people so you know this will be my step forward and I think because a few things have changed actually since last week so I turned 48 years old on the 26th of August it was a Sunday and on the Tuesday last week I changed my routine from being up all night to sleeping at night changed my routine around uh, I've got a new routine when I wake up and I've been going out every day not not doing anything exciting or interesting or you know anything other than just going out maybe to the shops and you know getting a bit of food that I need for the day ahead And ah, I've been doing it for a week now. Well, it's Monday now, so following Monday, so it's exactly seven days. And I, I do, I feel the benefit. But the one thing that I have missed is making the recordings because I haven't recorded anything for about 12 days nearly two weeks and this is something that I'd like to spend more time doing not less time and I've been spending zero time doing it for a couple of weeks and I've missed it but I didn't feel very motivated to really to do anything So my plan is to continue doing this, continue to be creative and find new ways of doing this, new ways of um, helping people with my voice. And there's, there's a whole accumulative, cum I can't say the word, but cumulative effect, that's it where you just listen to me and regardless of what the recording is there's a continued benefit that you can gain from the last time you listened to me even if that recording was something completely different you know, uh, so if you listen to a session for uh, chronic pain, for example, or headache pain, and then you listen to me on one of these Let Me Bore You to Sleep recordings where I just kind of talk about nothing and just talk for 
an hour about stuff. But you can still get that sense of calmness that comes over you. That sense of not just relaxation, but there's something there. Something there that gets tapped into. It's like a, a safe feeling that you can experience when you hear my voice. There's the familiarity of that feeling. There's the comfort, almost a nurturing sensation. The feeling of safety, comfort, and acceptance. To be able to listen to my voice and feel accepted. can be a really powerful experience. It's as if all the stress and the worries that were in your mind and in your body just melt away. you just enjoy that sensation of safety and acceptance. Just being there. Feeling that acceptance. And safety. Gives you the freedom. to completely wipe away the last remaining feelings of doubt, concern and worry. And you can really enjoy being you. You can really appreciate yourself. Knowing that you deserve to experience these sensations. of 
of safety acceptance feeling that freedom within you spreading over your skin relaxing all the muscles in your body neck, face, hands, feet, toes, fingers all the bones, all your internal organs, relaxed and calm. knowing that you can experience so much more of these feelings of safety and acceptance in your mind allowing that feeling to grow expanding through all the nerves and pathways of your mind freeing and changing the way that you perceive yourself so that now you perceive yourself as really really safe and that sensation of acceptance 
towards yourself. completely transforms every particle of your mind and your body realizes that you are fine just as you are you are a decent person deserve to be happy accepting yourself and feeling safe to really get in touch with all that kindness that you will now show towards yourself us to the end of this let me bore you to sleep thanks for listening speak to you next time
lots of love.